it's fall. We've all just celebrated Thanksgiving, and by we, I mean Americans yesterday. Uh, not I. Mine was October 9th or 10th? Much earlier. Anyway, it's that time of year where pumpkin shit is everywhere. And, uh, God, another Gorilla Beer. God damn. I was thinking about this today. I think they put out a lot of cool beers, because I think they've reached a level of production. Because their fermenters are like 2,000 liters. St you know, most people starting out are 500. They're making 2,000 liter fermenters. It's four times. So I think that gives them enough space to kind of pump out like the regulars and s distribute them to bars across the country. And it gives them a nice padding of like, you know what? That can continue going on. Let's do some cool, interesting stuff on more limited release. They don't have to worry about, you know, they don't want their batch to be fucked up or anything. But if they fuck up a batch, it's not like, oh shit, like 20% of our capacity is gone for, you know, the next month and a half, let's say, right? For our, our output, right? If they fuck up a 500 liter, 1000 liter batch, the wheels keep turning. It's like, oh, that cost us, you know, you know, X amount of money and a little bit of time, but it's not something that's going to break the spine of the brewery, right? Which is nice for them because that gives them some freedom to kind of go, you know what? The wheels keep turning on our regulars. Let's do something crazy. Uh, so, cool can, uh, pumpkin pie, although in my experience, this looks more like an apple pie with the kind of ribbons of uh, dough, flaky dough on the top. Anyway, I won't settle for being labeled as just another pumpkin ale. In the creation of this pumpkin pie inspired beer, we meticulously diced our own pumpkins and infused the brew with a zesty blend of spices. The citrusy notes derive from the dry hopping with citron mosaic, citron mosaic. This is called a pumpkin pipa, pumpkin uh, IPA. Citron mosaic, classic combination for an IPA, uh, like American style, bit of bitterness, but not too much. Um, beautifully complementing the sweet and savory pumpkin essence. It harmonizes flawlessly with the aromatic Cinnamon nutmeg infusion, delivering impeccable a balance. So, so as far as malts go, this is insane. Pale, Heidelberg, uh, Halcyon, Vienna, Brown, Red X, Cara Red, Cara Malt, Wheat Malt, Malted Oats, Flake Dose. That's 11 malts. I've never seen that many malts in one beer. Uh, pumpkin, maple syrup, ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla extract. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So I already had this, but this is a new can. Not that dark. Nice golden auburn color. It honestly looks like an amber, if I'm being, you know, observant, which one hopes I would be. Yeah, I got this uh, four days ago. It arrived in Seoul four days ago. It is now November 27th. So. It really does taste. I don't even really love pumpkin pie. This isn't some, again, Thanksgiving, there's pumpkin pie, I'll have a slice, because it is one of those rare treats. But as far as Thanksgiving goes, it's not something that I'm like, yeah, gotta get, you know, I'm the mashed potatoes, dark turkey guy. Uh, they'd always trick us as kids, like white meat's much better. It's much tastier, kids. And we go, yeah, drumsticks. And then when you turn older and you start to actually make your own, you get your own food from the plate, you realize like, oh shit, the dark meat's way better. It's like it's moister. The, the adults want all the dark meat for themselves, right? At least that's what my extended family did. Uh, I won't speak for your family, but. Yeah, the nutmeg cinnamon kind of together is not overpowering, but it does have that like balance in a pumpkin pie that you'd have. And that, how do you describe pumpkin, right? It's not even pumpkin, it's like pureed, roasted, and then there's sugar. <laughs> the sugar in this would be coming from the barley, but sugar nonetheless, pie-like. Um, it really does remind me of that first, when you get the wet end of the wedge, right? <sighs> yeah, very nice. Uh, as far as maple syrup goes, you'd think I'd recognize that really instantly, but um, apparently it's after pumpkin, but before ginger. <laughs> you think, yeah, it's basically an adjunct. It's closer to a malt than, uh, than anything else. Uh, it's sugar, but there is that maple taste to it, right? Uh, this is quite nice. As someone, again, who, uh, you know, I'm going to sound, uh, oh, yeah, pumpkin spice, basic, bitch. Uh, yeah, whatever. You like pumpkin spice, you like pumpkin spice. But as someone who doesn't love it, this, you know, a can of this on Thanksgiving kind of raises the festive spirit. 
and uh, it is nicely well-made beer. It's not too sweet, and this would be really easy to like really overdo the pumpkin spiciness to it, pumpkin pineus, where it's like just cloyingly sweet and thick too, like like an actual pie. They haven't forgotten that they've made this an IPA, right? It does very clearly say pumpkin pipa. Um, get out of here, head. Uh, if they were to do a pastry stout with this theme in mind, I don't think I would have liked that, as someone who's not a huge fan of pumpkin pie, right? Um, with an IPA, they can kind of keep it beer-like, uh, and the body rather medium-low without being thick. So again, if you made this a pastry stout and really just hammered that pumpkin pie aspect home, oof, there's, a, there's a base for that. There's a customer base for that. Not me. Um, but this, again, not drinkable per se. Uh, I wouldn't... You know, I would have one of these and then I'd have two other things and maybe have one more of these, but that's it. The, the, the pumpkin-y, cinnamon-y of it is good, but yeah, yeah. You wouldn't pick up four of these for a night out. This would be first and fourth out of six, let's say. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving to all my American friends. And uh, regardless of where you're coming from in the world, um... This is kind of neat, more niche. I can't really say like, go out and grab one. If this tickles your fancy, uh, and for those who don't necessarily love this style, I don't mean IPA, I mean pumpkin stuff. This is actually a nice like, oh, okay, I see what they're doing. It's quite, quite drinkable. Uh, it doesn't hammer you over the head. So if you want to kind of ease your way into pumpkin spice as a, as a suburban Canadian white male who maybe isn't the number one target for pumpkin spice fall, autumn time, Ease your way in, folks. Ease your way in.